Good morning, guys. Okay, so I just, not just woke up. I've been up for now about two hours. Um, I went to Orange Theory, worked out, and I took a shower, had my breakfast. Now I'm having my coffee. But anyway, today we're gonna do like a super cash get ready with me. I did this type of video. I did it on Instagram, like a mini tutorial, and so many of you guys loved it, so I thought I would recreate it for my YouTube fan. Also, tell you guys about the sponsor of this video, which is Clinique, and their new product, which is the Clinique ID, that is amazing, and it's personalized, customized skincare that I'm very excited about. So we're gonna talk all about that. Um, let's just get right into it because I want this video to be less than 10 minutes and I tend to just go on and on as I'm doing right now. So let's just get started. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Clinique ID first and I just wanna start off by saying that I personally believe that the future of skincare is definitely in customization and you guys are gonna see a lot of brands start to incorporate some sort of customization in their ranges and I'm so happy that Clinique created this Clinique ID system which is amazing. So the way it works is you pick three or one base out of three choices. I of course because I have really dry skin picked the hydrating jelly. I also picked this because I've used the hydrating jelly in the past and loved it. Um, so I selected that and from there you pick one out of five cartridges and they come in all different colors that represent different skin concerns. So for me, I have really dry, dull, tired looking skin and I wanted something that would instantly wake me up and this baby does exactly that. That's what it's meant to do. And then you have your personalized skincare because every time you pump a little bit of the base and a little bit of the active ingredients inside the cartridge and then you mix it up and then adjust your skin concern. I think that's so genius, it's amazing, and I'm so happy that Clinique is doing this. And I also find that this makes like a really good makeup base and of course hydrates my skin so well without feeling or looking like greasy or oily in any way, which I cannot stand. So that's it for the Clinique ID. I'm gonna leave all the information you need to know, where to buy, how to buy, all that good stuff in the description box below. But let's move on to the next step and that is sun care because SPF is everything. And today's actually kind of like a cloudy day. I feel like the sun is gonna come out in a little bit, but right now it's really cloudy. But still, you have to apply SPF because otherwise any skincare that you're using is like going to waste because of the damage that the sun can do on your skin. So make sure you wear some sort of SPF, any one of your choice, and apply it in the morning, like before you make up, and then also apply it throughout the day. Now, I always get questions like, how do you apply SPF throughout the day? And for me, I like to use a combination of things. I'll either use like a facial mist that has an SPF, or I'll use like a face compact with SPF in it just to like touch up my makeup but that also just like reapplies SPF. But anyway, that's it for now for our skincare and now let's move on to makeup. And I think I'm gonna start today with my base, then we'll do the eyes. So I'm gonna use the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and this is in W7. I'm gonna just take a little bit of product on the back of my hand. I'm not using too, too much at all and I'm taking it on my beauty sponge and I'm just gonna dot it all over my face. If you guys are looking for a high quality drugstore foundation, get the L'Oreal True Match. It is amazing. It's just like half a shade too dark for me, but when I blend it out and I apply my concealer, it looks perfect. The coverage is beautiful. It looks so natural. It doesn't feel heavy or cakey on the skin at all. Um, and I just love how it looks on my skin. It's just such a natural, beautiful coverage. So really, really recommend this foundation to anyone that's close to my skin tone. Now for concealer, and I've talked about this concealer so many times, but I love it and I just like can't put it down. It's definitely gonna be my yearly favorites. This is the Jouer um, Concealer. It's called the Essential High Coverage Concealer in the shade Honey. And I'm just gonna warn you right now that initially when you see it on my skin, it looks really light. Like it looks like it's gonna be way, too, I mean it is way too light for my skin tone. But the beauty with this concealer is that when you blend it into your skin, and into your foundation it just like melts into one another so perfectly and I've always found with like really full coverage concealers you have to sit there and blend for a while 
not with this guy. For my setting powder, I am using the Huda Beauty uh, Loose Powder, and this is in the shade Banana Bread. And I'm gonna take like a, quite a bit of product like this and use majority of the product underneath my eyes. So we're kind of baking, like a light bake, really quick underneath the eyes. And then whatever is left on my beauty blender, I'm just gonna use that without grabbing any more product to set my foundation. I find this technique to work so well because it sets your foundation but doesn't make it look heavy or cakey or like too powdered down. And then when you're done applying powder all over your face, you just take the same blender and press down underneath the eyes instead of using a brush to wipe it away because doing this step also brightens up underneath the eyes even more. Okay, base is all done. As you guys can see, everything looks perfect. Now let's go ahead and add some dimension, some, I don't know, some depth to my skin because right now everything is looking very flat. So for my bronzer, I'm going to be using this baby right here. This is from Marc Jacobs. This is called the Tantastic Bronzer. And, and this thing is huge. I feel like it's like the size of my face. It's that big. But I find this bronzer to be amazing for my skin tone. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. Hopefully you guys can see the color as well as I see it. But this is such a good shade to actually contour my skin. Okay, so my camera was not recording, but I did go ahead and apply a little bit of blush. I used the Honest Beauty Peony Pink Cream Blush, which you guys know I love for my skin tone. It is like the perfect like pinky shade. But anyway, before I apply my highlight, I do just want to go back and take a little bit more of the powder and kind of just like define my contour a little bit more and just let it like bake here because I feel like, I don't know if it's the lighting or what it is on my camera, but I feel like my contour is getting a little bit lost. I just want it to like pop a little bit more. So we're gonna apply a little bit of powder and just let it sit there underneath my contour. I know this looks really funny, but you guys won't even see this when I blend it out. Anyway, while that's baking, let's move on to the highlight. And this palette, I really recommend to you guys. You know, if you have been following me, that I love the Lancome Dual Finish Highlights. They are amazing and so buttery and creamy and pigmented and stunning. And with this palette, you get three mini ones, which by the way, these are not that many. They're really great size, great for traveling, and you get three shades in one palette. Really recommend this. It is the holiday set, so I would get this as soon as you can find it. I bet you it's probably even gonna go on sale soon. Um, but I love this palette. So I'm taking the very first shade and applying it on the high points of my face. And you guys see how that just like looks wet in like the most subtle way. Oh, I just love these dual finish highlights. They're so good. Okay, so we're just gonna leave the highlight like that. I want it to be super subtle. And let's just go ahead and quickly wipe away this powder as well. Okay, now I have you guys a little bit closer to my face because I want you to see my eyes in better detail. Um, so let's just go ahead and apply a little bit of primer. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Primer um, first, then we'll work on the eyebrows, and then we'll go back to the eyes because with this primer, and actually any primer, I do like to let it sit for just a few seconds because if I was just to apply an eyeshadow right on top of this primer right now, it would be a little bit sticky and like the eyeshadow would just stick. So if you just let it sit there for a few seconds, then go back in and apply your eyeshadow, it works perfectly. Anyway, let's go ahead and quickly fill in my brows. I'm using the Hourglass Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Platinum Blonde. And we're just gonna go ahead and quickly fill in my brows. Okay, now it is time to work on the eyes, and I'm actually going to start off today's eye look with my eyeliner first. I'm again using the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. If you're a beginner and you're looking for a great eyeliner to create that wing, I really recommend this one because this is literally like using a pen on your eyes. It gives you a lot of control, and it's very, very precise, so I really like this. But I'm just going to go ahead and create a quick winged liner. Not too dramatic, but I still want it to have a wing. Okay, so the wings are done. They're not perfect. In fact, this one is like a little bit thicker than that one. That's okay because we're going to smoke out these wings in this step. And I'm going to use this palette from Marc Jacobs. I love this palette so much. It's called the Scandalous. 
but I'm gonna go in with this dark brown shade. You want like a really rich, dark matte brown. And what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and go right on top of the eyeliner. By the way, I am using a really flat brush. Hopefully you guys can see this eyeshadow brush, but it's really, really flat. And you wanna make sure it's one like that because it's gonna give you a lot of control and it's gonna make the smudging process really easy. Okay, from there, you're gonna go ahead and take a clean blending brush and just quickly blend it out, like the eyeshadow, just so that there is no harsh line and everything still looks nice and blended. Okay, from here, I'm gonna go in this shade right here, which is like a medium matte brown. And I'm gonna go right on top and kind of like all over my lid. This is gonna create a very like gradient effect to this eye and not make it look so harsh, if that makes sense. Quickly work on the lower lash line. I'm gonna use the Persona Cosmetics. This is the 24 hour waterproof eye pencil in the shade brown. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this in my waterline. And actually, I'm also gonna tight line with this. Before we move on to the lashes, let's go back in the Scandalous palette, use this medium brown, and just smoke out underneath the eye or the waterline as well. Okay, so the eyes are basically done. Now it is time for mascara, and I'm gonna use my favorite. This is like the only mascara I'm using right now. It's called the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise, and I freaking love this thing. I'm gonna do a before and after so you guys can see why. Okay, so can you guys see the difference? Isn't that amazing? It's this mascara that like makes my lashes look so big and volumized. I'm gonna go ahead, repeat the mascara on this side, apply some falsies. I think I'm gonna apply the Huda Samantha lashes because I really love those lashes with this look. And then we'll go ahead, finish off the makeup with the lipstick. Let's quickly finish off the makeup with the lips. So I'm gonna be using my favorite combo at the moment and every Instagram post that you guys have seen, it's been this combo and I love it, love it, love it. So I'm gonna start off by lining my lips with Max Cork Lip Liner, which is like a must have for everyone. This is just such a universal flattering lip liner that literally works for all skin tones and all different lipsticks. Right on top of this lip liner, I'm gonna go ahead and use the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Lipstick in the shade 213 Royalty and this lipstick is everything. You can wear it to the office, you can wear it to dinner, you can wear it to drinks, brunch, shopping, anywhere. This is perfect and I love this color. Okay, this lipstick, tell me it's not perfection. It just works so beautifully for my skin tone. It's such a great everyday shade. I need to stop talking about this. But anyway, let's go ahead and quickly work on the hair as well. I'm gonna be really quick with this today because my hair is pretty much dried at this point, but of course I am gonna be using my favorite tool in the world, which is the Dyson Airwrap. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and quickly create like some really big chunky waves. I'm gonna quickly fast forward this part because you guys have seen it before in like my Dyson video. If you haven't, I will link that below. Okay, my hair is all done and the sun is coming out like crazy now. So I'm just gonna quickly brush through it with my fingers. You guys know the drill and bam, hair is done done so easy but anyway let's go ahead pick out an outfit and then i'll do like a final look away from the sun so you can really see my makeup and everything because i know it looks super washed out so anyway let's go in my closet let's go together okay so i definitely want to wear something casual yet dressy is that even a thing but i want to be comfortable too okay i think i want to wear this sweater which i've been like living in this season it is just so cozy comfy um and I might throw on, I might just do this. Oh yes, okay. I know what I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear this outfit here. This is like amazing. This was maybe 15 or $20. So inexpensive, but feels so luxurious, like high quality. And then I'm gonna wear it with these pants right here, which these pants are forever from Forever 21. And I love how, again, cute and comfortable and casual they are, but still dressy. So. Let me quickly throw this on and then we'll do a final look. Ooh, okay, I need a perfume. Which one do I want today? Okay, I think I'm gonna do this guy right here from Kaoli. This is the vanilla scent. They have three different perfumes, but this is my favorite. It smells amazing. I'm just gonna quickly tuck the sweater in a little bit. Give it that like cool, casual look. 
And then I'm gonna spray Kaoli. Oh, that smells so good. It's just like so feminine. Oh, okay. I think with Kaoli, it's like all the different perfumes you can kind of layer on top of one another, which is nice. But I just love the vanilla by itself. Okay, let me quickly do an OOTD so you guys can really see what this outfit looks like. It's so easy and simple and comfortable. By the way, these shoes are by Jimmy Choo. I got them at a sample sale and I got them like at a fraction of a cost. So love these. And yeah, here's the outfit again. Okay, here is the final look. Hair, makeup, outfit, all that good stuff. And I just love this look, you guys. And you can swap out the lip to like a bright red or like a dark vampy lip and like instantly change up your entire vibe. So I love this look and I hope you guys found this video useful. Again, I'm gonna leave all the information that you need to know about Clinique ID in the description box below. I definitely recommend it. And I will also link all the other products that I used in this video in the description box. So definitely check there. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I love Love you guys so much and let me know if you guys enjoyed this like get ready with me start to finish and like this chit chatty version with the outfit and everything because I kind of loved doing it so I want to do more of these with different looks different hairstyles different outfits only if you guys want to see it though so let me know in the comment section below anyway I'm gonna run I have so much to do today um, but I will talk to you guys in my next video very very soon bye Thank you again so much for watching this video and a huge thank you to Clinique for sponsoring this video.